Hello ladies, uh, my name is Anne. You? And I'm Belinda. What level are you? Level 100 of her. What course? General nursing. Hey, I, it's like I have a lot of nurses to this. I hope you are not a nurse. I am. You are? Yes. What's your name? Bridget Osia. Okay, so what level are you? 100 upper. 100 upper, so you are basically in the same yes, level? Yes, yes. Okay, so what are your expectations for this event today? Okay, so I expect him to um, say more things about uh, he posting nurses after we complete and then increasing our salary. Yeah. Hey, this lady likes money. <laughs> What's about you, my darling? Okay, I'm expecting a lot, saying the economy has been facing a lot of challenges. So when he talks about improving job opportunities in this country, too, I'll be happy. Oh, nice. So it looks like most of the nurses students, they want a way out so they don't jack up from the country, right? Okay, that's nice. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the lecture. And what about you? I am Magdalene Asume Tefuto. Oh, wow. I like your name too. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so what level are you in and what course are you offering? Okay, so I'm in level 100, lower, upper, sorry. And then I'm offering BSc in nursing. Okay, I see the whole NDC thing. So what does your board say? Many Ghanaian youth will be able to work in both private and public sectors. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. So you have a lot of expectations, yeah. right? Yeah, especially with the nurses. You know, when we complete a school, we have problems being posted. So I'm really looking forward for that. I want him to talk about And I'll be asking a lot of questions too. So I'm really looking forward for that. So I'm, I'm hoping that you're expecting that he makes sure that the economy is good for you. So you do, you guys don't leave the yes, economy for us. Jack Pada is with Jack <laughs> Okay, thank you so All much right. for joining us. Thank do have so a lovely day, okay? Bye. Bye. <laughs> My name is Anne. What about you? I'm Beatrice. What level? 400 up a midwifery. Oh, that's nice. I like your outfit. You look very sweet. Thank you. I'm ever ready to welcome JM. <laughs> oh, nice. I see you are a fan. Yes, please. Okay, so as he's coming here today, do you have any form of expectation? Oh, definitely I have. In the sense that for the past or previous years, most of the nurses will complete school and will still be in the house. So today, I'm expecting that when he comes, every question concerning nursing posting, he'll be able to answer. And I'm also expecting that 2024, definitely he's going to win. And when we win, we know that we are going to be posted. That is my expectation. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And you heard from our beautiful beaches. <laughs> thank you. As a gem. Oh, oh Benedita, you look very pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what level are you in and what course are you offering? Okay, so I'm in three upper business. I'm reading marketing. Oh, okay. That's nice. So as a marketing student, and you already know what's happening today, the former president is here for a lecture. So do you have any expectations from him? Um, actually, I have. So basically, during his lecture, I really expect to hear um, what he has for the youth, especially those that they've graduated and those that they're about to. So that's all what I want to hear from his lecture, yeah. Okay. So thank you so much. So that was Araba. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Do have a great day and enjoy your lecture. I'll be joining you soon inside. Okay, right, so bye. bye. <laughs> hey, what's your name? I'm gold. You're gold? Yes. Yeah, you look cute. <laughs> so what level are you in and what course are you offering? Okay, level 200 MEDF students. Oh, nice. So let me go to the Black Beauty on my left. Hi, what's your name? I'm Petra. Petra. Oh. Like the ladies here, nice names on Kwao. Yeah, hey, DB. Oh, okay, DB. <laughs> okay, so what course are you offering? Degree midwifery. Oh, and what level? 300. 300, that's nice. Um, so, do you know about the um, public lecture happening here? Yeah, ahead of it. Ahead of it. Yeah, a week ago. Okay, so do you have any expectations? Yeah. So I'm just expecting that if he's being voted into power, um, the nurses get posted and then they get paid well because most of the nurses are leaving the country because they are not being posted and then they are not being paid well. So they think when they leave it will be better for them. And then with the e-levy thing, we are students and we don't really earn much. So 
with the deduction and everything, I think if it's being cancelled, it will actually help us because we are not even earning much for them to be deducting to, do you understand? Okay, I hear you. So let me come to Miss Gold. What are your expectations? Okay, so I'm expecting that when he comes in power, he'll be able to create more job opportunity because there are lots of people on the street that have degrees and other um, certificates, but they are not working because there's no job opportunities there for them. Yeah, so that's my expectation. All right, thank you so much, Miss Petra and Miss Gold. Enjoy your lecture. I hope you are, I'll see you in there. Yes, yeah, sure, you see us. All right. Bye. Enjoy your lecture. Yes, Bye. My name is Anne. What's your name? Danila. Danila. Yeah. I like the way you say your name. <laughs> <laughs> and you are? I'm Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. Hey. And then that's who we did, Lucy. <laughs> that's nice. I like your braids. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, so. What level are you in and what course are you offering? I'm offering midwifery. Free. Midwifery. Free. Okay, what level? 200 lower. 200 lower, okay. What about you? 100 lower, communication studies. Yeah, communication students. Yeah. Oh, no wonder you sound like that. <laughs> anyway, so what are your expectations for this event? Oh, I would. First off, I'm excited. I'm excited because. His Excellency is coming around and I would like to ask him certain questions concerning what he will do if he's to come into power because it's like this government, they started certain projects and like they are not finishing it. So I would like to find out from him if he would be able to come and continue or he has other plans as well. Okay, the event happening today, we are expecting the former president of the Republic. Do you have any expectations? Um, I believe that as a former president and we contesting again, he should have so many things for us. And I'm expecting more from him because he's been there, he has seen it all and he's coming back. So at least coming into an institution, a tertiary institution like this, he should at least punch more holes into his um, policies for the youth and for tertiary students. That's what I'm expecting from him today. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. And you heard from Baba. That's what, that's what he's expecting from the former president. Thank you. Enjoy your lecture. Bye. Hello, I've got a handsome gentleman close to me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ad. What about you? Uh, I'm Prince Ankumapia. Oh, Prince. You look like a Prince. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so what course are you offering and what level are you? Uh, BMS, uh, Business Management and Computer Studies, level 300 lower. And then I'm aspiring for SRC President here on campus. Oh, so he's the SRC President, hopeful. That's nice. Anyway, so you also have, uh, we have a former, the former president coming here yeah. to have a, uh, a lecture, right? Yeah. So he's also a president, but hopeful. Yes, exactly. The key word is hopeful. So what are your expectations? Uh, well, I'm sure he's here to share some of the policies with us. And uh, uh, I want to hear something about education and life after school. You know, the unemployment rate in Ghana is just something we don't want to talk about. There's nothing to write home about, I, actually. So I, I, I'm expecting to hear something that has to do with good educational policies and even after school. We don't have to go home. I think there is even a strike coming up for the uh, unemployed graduate something about nurses and uh, some of these things we are just believing that we'll get a president who will come and then take care of some of these issues and that is my expectation good policies about education and, and the life after school yeah for graduates all right thank you so much you heard from prince our src president hopeful thank you so much for joining us do have a good lecture enjoy it thank you hi ladies good afternoon my name is Anne. What's going on? i'm gifty and you I'm Ruth. So what course are you offering and what level are you in? We are, I'm offering BSA in the and in level 200. Okay, that's nice. What about you? I'm, I'm doing BSC in nursing, level 200 lower. Okay, so you're obviously repping the JM colors, or should I say the NDC colors. Yeah. So what are your expectations after the event? Okay, my expectation is um, the president or the incoming president 
should help us um, to avoid writing licensure again because I've written some and I'm here doing top up and I am going to write licensure again. So I'm pleading that when he comes in part, he should try and help us to resolve that issue. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Yes, my concern is about the fees that we are paying. You know, although it's an um, international university, but the fees is so much. We all know it's a good school. Wisconsin is a good school, and everybody would like to enroll here. But if he can come in and then do something about it, so that the, the, the school will look into the fees that we are paying, they will be happy. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Do enjoy your lecture. Yes. yes. I'm sure I'll see you inside. My name is Anne. Yeah, my um, name is Denzel too. My name is Denzel. Which faculty? Uh, mighty faculty. Level? 400. And you are? I'm Reno. IT, 300. IT faculty. Hey, you guys are looking sweet. Too. What's up? I mean, my mask is obviously. You have to be dripped up, you understand? Okay, so... Today, um, Wisconsin University is holding um, a student lecture for the former president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. And I have Denzel here. So Denzel, tell me what your expectations are. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've not, never had a chance to like, obviously um, see Mahama like, in person before. So obviously, he coming to my school, I just, I just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just amazed, you know. But... but you know, we all know Mama, he's, he's an, a very intellectual person, you know, he, when he talks, everybody listens. So I just, I just want him to like emphasize on the 24 hour economy more for me, okay. so that I can, I can explain to another person that, oh, okay, Mama said 24 hour economy, so I can, you know, when somebody asks me, because I'm, I'm, I'm a thin person, so obviously I need to like make sure that, you know, I have the, 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 the understanding of whatever that he says today about the 24 hour economy, so I can explain to my fellow person that, okay, this is how we are going to run it when we come into power. So I don't expect any, anything it of less. a phenomenal performance. Because <laughs> we all know Mama. He's, he's the guy. He's the guy. He's the guy. So obviously, yeah, I'm just, I just want to be entertained and, you know, learn so many things right, as, as, as it comes. Okay, so you heard from Denzel. He's expected a lot from the former president. So let me come to John. John, yeah. do you have any expectations? Well, I have a lot of expectations and then we all know Mahama too. Well, but, you know, internet is really misleading 24 hours economy and since he's here himself, the source, you will all be glad to be enlightened about how the 24 hours economy is going to be done. So, I don't really have much, but then he has his ambitions. He has been a former president. He has been a president before. Yeah, so... Well, I'm here to listen to him. But do you think that when he's given the chance to be the president, he can do it again, considering that he has been the president before? Well, these arguments cannot be raised here because, because he has been an, a pre, like he has been a president before. You understand? So he he already know how things are being run. You understand? So it could be one or two mistakes that made him, you know, fell back or stuff. So uh, he's actually he actually, you know, he has been a, like a president before. So I don't have anything to say now. Just want to understand how the 24 hours economy will be run. So I'll probably ask questions inside. I'll ask him questions and then I'll be glad to, you know, listen to the lecture. All right. Thank you so much, my handsome guy. <laughs> thank you for joining us. I hope to see you inside. He says he has a lot of questions to ask. So I'm sure you also do. I have a lot. I have a lot. And as I told you, Mama as a president before, was he did nothing but the best he could do for Ghana. I mean, he, you can't do all. And obviously, he's coming back again. I mean, it's it's, okay. yeah. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Bless. Do have a good day. So hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As you all know, my name is Anne. And you heard from the students of Wisconsin, international students, of their expectations from the former president of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency John Drama Adi Mahama on his public lecture here at Wisconsin. Thank you for watching again. Love you. Bye.